Us, this is Coach JR, and I'm back with some exciting news and information that I know. Stop everything you're doing. You have to listen to me and watch this video because today I'm going to start sharing what I think is, is, is a game changer in the, in the fascinating universe of trading and investing is the fact that we can no longer hide it. Retail investors, retail traders, they have more power than they used to. And we can talk about everything. And there's a lot of charts and a lot of gloom and doom about, oh, everything's repeating just like in the, in the 2000s. But we're not there. We're just more people and there's more technology. Thank you to, for example, the guys from Robinhood. And whether the company is good or bad, that's totally relevant. What, it's, what matters is the technology and how the easy access it's allowing more and more generations to participate in the always exciting stock market, U.S. stock market. So today I want to talk to you about companies that you probably never heard of or you can't think that you can make money. And this is a company that we know who is writing those shares and is the famous and legendary David Elliott Shaw, D.E. Shaw. The company I'm talking about is, let me just go to my charts, is Express Inc. Ticker, E-X-P-R. We have uh, in front of you, we have a 30-minute chart. And right now, a lot of what we're going to do with this series of videos and content is to guide you for you to open your mind, be flexible to the different opportunities that are out there. And we're doing this because we do know that there is a need for the U.S. Um, traders and also international traders to look for uh, hidden jewels, opportunities that if you were not to watch this video at Market Shares Daily or hearing from myself, Coach JR, you probably wouldn't, wouldn't know that this is available to you. So what we're going to do with this series of videos is open your eyes to the fascinating world of social trading. What is happening in social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and things that at the same time, they're although they are maybe on YouTube, I have designed scanners, right? I have designed these scanners that are tracking, tracking conversations and picking up the best opportunities for you. You that are watching this video, you're the one that matters. So we're going to bring you the best of the best. Now, all at the same time, so, uh, it, what happened is that some people don't know. There's some hedge funds, there's some mutual funds, there's some important players as well. But they just keep it quiet, good enough to be there and let the rest happen. That's when the magic really takes place. But the truth of the matter at the same time is retail traders, they are moving the needle. They are. So we want to take advantage of that avalanche of new investors and fresh cash that is hitting the U.S. stock. So let's go into this. The ticker, as I said, at EXPR, 30-minute chart. We're going to go with the 200 moving average. This is the one that uses the legendary Paul Tudor Jones. And what we're looking here is to get as close as possible to one to five risk-reward ratio. I repeat, the risk ratio that we're looking in our trades, we're buying shares, okay? It's one to five following Paul Tudor Jones, okay? So there are a couple ideas that I will share with you how I want to play this express position. We're going to play it cash. We're going to buy um, shares. And at the same time, as usual, coming from the profit flow group, I'm going to suggest two opportunities in the options space, all right? So we know the risk. We're looking. This is the risk, okay? And now, I'll just do this a little bit better. And now let's position ourselves. So um, for those of you that are very conservative, risk adverse, what I'm suggesting is this type of risk structure. You're going to take the base where it actually came to peak liquidity. That will give you about a, I will say, 12% risk. All right. And then you're looking to use market memory and see where the price of the stock trading in the past. You have this big wick right there. That's a lot of liquidity. That's what we call trap traders, all right? There's trap liquidity from people that actually bought at the high and they're still holding the position. So if the stock goes back all the way to close that liquidity, what do you think they're going to do? Well, they're going to sell. They're just going to take back their money at break even and they're happy to do so. So that will give you at least close to a 70% return and a risk reward ratio that will be one to five 
45. That means you're risking $1 to take home $5.45. What a beautiful trade you have right there, okay? So that will be on the 30-minute chart. Good? Perfect. Now, let's take a look at opportunities that those of you, you don't have time to trade and you want to take a more passive position on this idea, right? So let's go to the monthly. Let's go to the monthly. And let's, uh, let's realize, just everyone knows that there's a lot of volume here. There's a lot of volume at $2.69. Some more volume came in here. And one more push at um, $4.65 all the way to $8.78. And that's good because when you see how the volume was injected uh, in the stock, you can see that once the big players came in, they abandoned. That means that they did everything they needed on this candle. So there's a lot of volume, okay? Now, not only we know that there's volume, not only we know who is behind as far as the institutional investor, who is behind this company, D.E. Shaw, David Elliott Shaw, it's a hedge fund in New York, one of the greatest hedge funds. Uh, Elliott, he used to work for Morgan Stanley, and then he rejected an offer from Goldman Sachs back in the late 80s. So imagine how good it's Elliott that he rejected an offer from Goldman Sachs, okay? And then he... Uh, founded his own shop. Now, let's pay attention. They did the job. Everything's in place. Let's have a little bit of technicalities here and drop a trend Fibonacci, okay? So you have this trend Fibonacci from the minimum to the highest high that we know so far. So we're right there between the 61.8% and the 78.60%, okay? So we know this company is... Um, it's not as big as we think, but the most important is the shares flow is some, somewhere close to 64 million, which means there are not a lot of shares circulating. And that's good because they are not diluting the company. So now I want to share with you how we'll take a position that will look to, uh, to make more money, all right? But without, without so much action on it, okay? So I'm going to use this base where we have one, two, three months that it was just fine in the base that will give me a 42 percent risk on my money but then what i'm going to do is going to the first cycle all the liquidity there all right not a bad risk reward ratio remember everything is on how you manage your risk that's the name of the game indicators entries methodology that's all good but at the end of the day you need to win more of what you lose that's pretty much the simple math that you need to have, all right? So now, let's push to a previous level, all the way back to $20. This is when the stock was trading at $20 back on March of 2016, all right? So right there, I have a risk reward ratio of $1 per risk, looking to take home $7.80. So I will be trading this second idea, all right? a more long-term idea, and I will be looking to take three times my money. That means for every $1,000 you invest, you're looking to take home a $3,000 profit. If you invest $5,000, that's a $15,000 profit. If you invest $10,000, that will be an amazing $30,000 profit in a small cap stock, we can call it small cap, and that we know hedge funds so far love. And if you think I'm joking about this one, pay attention. We go, it's easy information that you can access. Holders, here is on the, on the day today, 7% up. And look at the institutional holders. We have BlackRock, Charles Schwab Investment Management, Vanguard Group, and there you go. 4.45% participation. Uh, we have Shaw, the Eat Show and Call. And there's other more companies. And of course, you have this stock as part of a few small meat ETF. In the U.S., um, small co index, uh, U.S. small company index. So the stock is part of some indexes, all right? So that's also a good thing to know. Now, finally, I, as, as I said, as, you know, uh, CoJR being part, uh, head of uh, investments and, and trading ideas at the Profit Flow Group, I want to give you a little bit of that. I want to give you a little bit of, let's say you want to maximize with options and I found two plays, two opportunities that you definitely want to consider first. Ready? There we go. That's right. Ready. Okay. So this is the August 20. Okay. Not a lot of time, but it's $5. The stock is already trading at $5. So that's good. Any appreciation 
of the stock will help this uh, particular, let me go back, particular uh, trade idea. Delta 57 and so it means that for every dollar it moves, then you will have an appreciation, estimated appreciation, appreciation of 57 cents. Now, does the contract high, it's $4. So in this case, you're looking, at least if everything goes well and it appreciates very fast, you're looking at least at a potential opportunity to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hundred percent on this particular uh, particular trade. Contract log twenty seven. We're buying. You will be buying if you do it today or tomorrow, Friday. You will be buying at hundred percent from the low of this contract. And the second idea, just to finish this video on this idea about stocks that are they're flying under the radar. You probably never heard of this one, but here is where you can really squeeze for the big box. Okay either buy shares or at the same same time play the call options. In this case, I found this 27, 27 cents contract, all right? And look at this, it's the 10 calls. So there is there's some evidence that we can pass the $10 mark and go all the way to 20 on some good reports, good earnings. That's a fact. And this becomes one of the best back to school plays in the retailing uh industry okay so if we look at this this is very very expensive and look at the contract high so that will be one two three four five six we're looking at least for a 600 percent if we pass the ten dollar mark if we're in the money a little bit above the money you will be looking for a potential 600 yeah one two three four five six six hundred percent on this particular call the contract low 15 cents we're buying a little bit above that not it's not a double it's not 100 percent. so that tells me that we do have an opportunity on this one so definitely pay attention this is another opportunity it gives you more times all the way until october 15 but i truly believe that today with everything that is happening the excess of liquidity in u.s markets you are out to give you the opportunity to pay attention and listen and of course take a look at this place that are flying under the radar. A lot of social activity on these ones. You want to be part of this and you want to maximize this opportunity. As usual, as I say, remember, please let us know in the comment section. Reply to this email. Uh, our team are going to be waiting to know what you think about what we're doing with these ideas because these are opportunities that you never heard of them, but we're going to bring them to them with all the research power that we have here at Market Traders Daily. Until then, you know what it is. Pay attention. I will be back later. Okay, we'll be back later with my end of the day video where we're going to take a look at the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and also the Russell 2000. Thank you. I see you on the other side. Oops.